Inconsistent form in the Aviva Premiership by both sides meant the matchup between Worcester and Bath at six ways was a tough one to call. Bath, rocked by injuries, had to play prop Mark Lilly at hooker and a real lack of structure at the set piece, along with a host more injuries, essentially cost them the game. Joe Carlisle, in for Andy Goode, made a complete hash of his first penalty attempt, but was given a second chance seconds later, and this time did open the scoring for the Warriors. Poor kicking was the order of the evening. As Bath began to get into the game, Stephen Donald missed two kickable penalties, and it was tough to see where the next points would come from. Lewis Moody had led out his team, keen to put the week's revelations out of his mind. But bad luck seemed to follow the former World Cup winner. First, he damaged a shoulder in a lunge on Eric Classens, and then seemed to be knocked out in a collision with Marcel Garvey. The Bath skipper made a brief return in the second period, but it's a week the 33-year-old will want to forget. The first half was rounded off with a superb solo try by Miles Benjamin. The winger putting a huge step on Nick Abendanen to score under the post and give the Warriors a 10-0 lead at half-time. Bath came out with renewed vigour in the second half, but it was Worcester who scored first, Carlisle with his second penalty of the night. With Bath finally threatening the Worcester line, they then lost Dave Atwood. The lock carried from the field on a spinal board after a delay of 10 minutes after yet another clash of heads. Bath's temerity did eventually pay off in the shape of a Charlie Beach try. Ollie Barkley on for Sam Vesley took care of the conversion and Bath were within a converted try of victory at 13-7 with still over 10 minutes to go. But it was Andy Goode who completed a forgettable day for Bath, the 31-year-old knocking over a drop goal in the final minutes to give the Warriors a famous 16-7 win.